بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم یا رحمان یا The Pahlavani and Zur Khan rituals enjoy a collection of cultural, moral, artistic and athletic values that back to 3000 years ago. These rituals have been inspired by the ancient Iranian epic myth, an exclusive worldview based on everlasting conflict of light and darkness and have been developed by the Iranians after their conversion to Islam. A famous athlete, Puryaya Vali, has reorganized and disseminated this ritual in 17th century AH, 12th century AD. These rituals have been recognized and widespread within 17th sects of Sufism and mysticism until Safavid dynasty circa 400 years ago, and functioned somehow as a secret society. Nowadays, there are 450 Zurkhane throughout Iran and the rituals are at least administered three times per week. Promotion of peace and humanitarianism are among the fundamental objectives of the rituals. Pahlavani and mystic literature and athletic group musical performances enjoy special status in these rituals because they diffuse chivalry with cheerfulness and sight among the individuals. Oh, oh, oh. 
ها گفتی که چند خود بلندش به In athletic musical performances, the war weapons have been cleverly symbolized and smoothed for cheerfulness, physical and mental health, and fostering collective spirit. The chenot or press of board is a symbol of sword. Sang or rock is a symbol of war shield against evil temper. Kabade is a symbol of hero's bow. Mir or the Indian club is a symbol of devil opponents and guardians sacred club for temple. These tools in Zurkhane, specific literature and poems accompanied with vocal music, zap or big drum, a small bell are recited by Morshed or Perceptor to attract the audience toward high values and idols. Zurkhane is a sacred place. Its door is short to compel the individuals to bend and pay their humbleness while entering the place. Morshed guides the rituals with reciting moral poems. When the athletes come into the pit, they encircle the most experienced one named as Myandar and pay their respect to the perceptor or Morshed to cultic procedures. Morshed launches the rituals that entail holding rocks or sangs, practicing press up board, exercising with the Indian club, and acrobatic performances with meals. With small meals, rotating exercises, holding kabade, and performing rhythmic foot exercises. The last part of the rituals is collective prayers, for the elders of the group praise for passing kindness, peace, friendship, and removal of poverty, suffering, and illness, and others confirm him by telling Amen. For the most fascinating and oldest parts of these rituals is Pahlavani wrestling. One of the noble traditions that is practiced is Golrizan, which means pouring flowers on the guests, which is organized as a homage for pioneers, heroes, and murshets, and also for collecting some financial contributions for those in need. After the last collective performance, the collected contributions will be secretly granted to need by a member of trustees. <laughs>